What's up, it's Trainer Sandy, she's tuning into the infamous Living Room Network. Divine Power is always working for us because we're trying to do right. Amazing sleep hacks. Basically, we want to have some great sleep. Okay, so I got 20 tips that I'm going to give you. Real raw tips about sleep at night. Like, really get real sleep. We get a real raw cut stuff about how to go to sleep at night and get really good sleep. I mean, I do it all the time. Yeah, I get good sleep all the time. And as a matter of fact, I'm so sleepy right now. I've been working on YouTube like all day long and I need some rest. And so I'm going to tell you the 20 most amazing hacks that you can use to get a good night's sleep at night. Yeah, I did, I did that pretty good, right? All right, number one. My mom always said, don't never eat too late. And it actually works. When you eat late at night, your stomach is moving while you sleep. You know what I mean? You don't want to go to sleep on a full stomach like you just ate a steak at 10 o'clock at night or, or you just ate like some crab legs and you know, you're just about to go to sleep, you just ate some crab legs and then now the crabs are swimming in your stomach and stuff like that. You do not want to eat late at night. That's hack number one. Don't eat nothing at night because the whole point is to make sure that you're sleeping and your body is calm at the same time. You gotta make sure that you're relaxed and relaxed state so that way you don't wake up in the middle of the night because your stomach is like and I'm gonna go through these real quick guys it's 20 of them so keep up all right number two if you really have to take some dextromethorphan or dimethorcine or whatever that stuff is called it's inside the NyQuil it's inside Benadryl sometimes you need some sleep sometimes you just have to take some type of sleep aid you know especially if you're up you're always working you're always doing business work you have the kids to handle you know then you have your thing to work on by the time it's time for you to sleep it's hard for you to sleep because your heart rate is just pulsating out the roof you know you might have a headache you don't feel good oh my god things are going crazy take some diet hip yeah take that type of medicine and you'll be knocked out really quick but don't get in the habit of taking this. I didn't say take it every day. I just said take it from time to time when you know that you need it and get some sleep, okay? All right, number three, do exercises. Right before you eat that meal, make sure you go exercise. Make sure you go to the gym. Some people like to walk around the box. Some people like to run, take a job, whatever. Take a hike, do whatever you got to do. Make sure that you exercise and exert all the energy at your body. That way, by the time it's time for you to wind down and you eat that dinner and you take that dimethorazine, you're going to sleep really, really good. Number four, sex. I mean, let's not forget it. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, folks. We're human beings. It's nature. It's a part of human being history. I mean, we have to have sex sometimes. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you know, you don't always have to reproduce, but you definitely have to have some type of intercourse. I mean, you don't necessarily need to go to sleep, but I'm just saying, if you really want to go to sleep from time to time, you know, you might want to consider this. I mean, especially if you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever the case may be, just make sure that you, just make sure you implement this into your daily habit of routine patterns to go to sleep. I guarantee you have amazing sleep after that. All right, number five, a soothing bath will always do the trick. If you take a bath right before you go to sleep, you feel good, you know, your pores can breathe. Oh my God, your pores can actually breathe. You can actually feel the heat. You know, once upon a time when you came in from outside, it was like cold, but it wasn't really cold in the house. It was just cold because you were ashy. Oh my God, then you took a bath and you got moist again. And so when you go to sleep, you feel good. You know, you feel clean. And it's great. You, you sleep better when you're clean. Now, I'm the type of person, I take a bath every night. Because I know that when you go to sleep, that makes you feel good, you know, because you know you took a shower. So make sure that you take a shower before you go to sleep. This is another way to have a great night's sleep. All right, number six, aromatherapy. Aromatherapy, oh my God, man, I love this stuff. But I just don't like this kind right here. I don't even use this kind. I just got it for this video. But aromatherapy, sensual stuff. I mean, it works, man, it's really real. They have the kind that you can spray on your pillow and it makes your pillow smell good and you be going to sleep, you be like, this stuff right here, it does the trick, you know, aromatherapy. So when you go to the mall, when you go out next time, just make sure you buy you some aromatherapy. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it in the description section. I'm going to put the aromatherapy in the description section to promote a better, great night's sleep. Like, for instance, the very back of it says, Therapy. So if you want to buy some of this aromatherapy, just click the link in the description section. You'll be led to Amazon and you can buy some of this aromatherapy right here, right now. Another way to have a great night's sleep, an amazing hack is make sure that you get a better mattress. Sometimes the reason why you don't sleep good, you don't get a good night's sleep is because you have a really bad mattress. 
like a really shabby mattress. Like you can probably hear the springs in it and everything. Yeah, it's time for you to get a new mattress. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. You know, it is time for you to get a new box spring. I mean, the bed is wore out. Can't you hear? Can't you hear all the rocking when the baby is rocking in the cradle? You know what I mean? Yeah, when the baby's rocking in the cradle. And one thing that you might not know is if your mattress is too soft, it's too soft, that could be uncomfortable for you. I've known several people who have had like back problems and who get up and wake up sore in the morning because their mattress is too, too soft. So make sure you get the mattress that's best for you. And in addition to getting a new mattress, make sure that you have really, really soft pillows. Pillows that are really good on your neck. This plays a major part as to whether or not you're gonna get good night's sleep. As a matter of fact, I know some pillows that you can get. Um, they're like the softest pillows in the world. I actually have them for myself too. They're called My Pillows. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put those in the description section too. So if you wanna buy My Pillow, you can buy it right now after you watch this video. But anyway, it is so freaking soft. I don't know what they, I think they have like goose feathers in it or something. And it's so soft. It's like a... All right, number eight, a glass of wine. A glass of wine won't hurt, okay? Have a glass of wine, maybe right after you have that meal or you know, just a wine down when you come in from after work or whatever the case may be. A glass of wine is a sedative, you know? It's like a depressant, it makes you relax. And if you drink it like two or three hours before you go to sleep, you're gonna feel good by the time you get to bed. And you're just gonna not really like knock out. It's kind of like a, a alcoholic medicine, you know? Wine, it's like, it does something to you, man. It just really turns you upside down and puts you in the bed. All right, number nine, a glass of water beside the bed. If you're that type of person that like to get up in the middle of the night and like go to the refrigerator and just like take yourself out of the comfort zone of your rim sleep by getting up and going to get something to drink, just make sure you just get a glass of water, fill it up to the rim, and put it beside your bed on your nightstand. And that way, when you're waking up in the middle of the night, this cool, relaxing, purified water can go down and hit your tonsils. I mean, but it has to hit the tonsils before it goes down. And then you can like actually be refreshing. You'd be like, uh. then you'll go back to sleep again. And this is another promoter of great night's sleep. Just have that water beside the bed so that way you don't have to get up in the middle of the night, which ties into number 10. A healthy midnight snack. Yeah, a healthy midnight snack. If you're the type of person who like to get up and you like to sleepwalk and you like to go all around the house and next thing you know you end up on your balcony or you end up in the living room laying on the couch and then your girlfriend's like, what you doing on the couch this morning? You was on the couch this morning. You might as well make sure that you eat healthy if you're going to get up and get a midnight snack. I mean, what's the point in getting up eating Chips Ahoy when you can just get a granola bar, you know, with honey oat wheats in it? I mean, just be smart about everything that you do when you sleep because it's very important because you can get in the habit of this over time and it might not be good for your teeth, it might not be good for your sleep patterns, you might have to start taking melatonin or something because your sleep pattern and your arcadian rhythm cycle is all jacked up. So make sure that you make sure that you make sure that you have something healthy to eat at night as a midnight snack. All right, number 11, lotion, 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 lotion. If you're thinking like me, you're thinking the right way. Yep, I'm, I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking that way though. I'm, I'm really trying to tell you what helps you get good night's sleep. Uh, put some lotion on right after you get out of the shower, man. It, it helps you feel, you know, more smooth because you tend to touch yourself when you're in the bed at night. I mean, really, you do. I mean, you, you scratch your head, you know, you rub your arms, you know, from all kind of blood vessels, pumping blood and stuff like that. So make sure that you have St. Ives. St. Ives is one of the best lotions out there on the market. I use this all the time, as a matter of fact. It's so, it's so soft and so smooth. Um, and this is a scary annoying one, uh, but they have many different kinds. And it's actually dermatologist tested and paraben free. So this is a very great buy. I mean, if you want to have a good night's sleep and you want to lather up in that lotion to help those pores feel good and soak in all that being night warmth, definitely want to try some of the St. Ives. And you can also buy some of this in the description section too if you just click that link. It's really good stuff, y'all. I'm not joking. All right, number 12. Make sure you set an intention before you go to sleep. Once upon a time, I used to pray before I go to sleep. Now I do something that's kind of like praying, which is meditating. You know, I try to set an intention. I'm going to have a great night's sleep. I'm going to have a great night's sleep. I'm going to get up in the morning. I'm going to have a great night's sleep. Oh, man, I'm going to sleep good tonight. I'm going to have some dreams tonight. Make sure you set an intention before you go to sleep. This is a key factor as to helping you have great night's sleep. It's an amazing sleep hack. All right, number 13. Another thing that you can do before you go to sleep to have a great night's sleep is watch something funny before you go to sleep. This helps the mind stay positive. Because you can go to sleep and have nightmares, bad dreams, whatever the case may be. You want to make sure that you go to sleep feeling happy, feeling charged up, excited about tomorrow. This plays a major role in relieving stress. And stress kicks in at night when we sleep because we're thinking about things subconsciously, unconsciously. 
So that's the reason why a lot of people don't get good night's sleep because of stress. So in order to relieve that stress before you go to sleep, watch something exciting, watch something happy, something that makes you laugh. <laughs> Hope you're keeping up, hope you're keeping track. I didn't put these in the video, so make sure you look at the very bottom in the description section. I wrote them all out for you. If you wanna take the notes, print it out, whatever the case may be, just make sure you check in the description section to find all these 20 tips. All right, number 14, chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is some of the best tea on planet Earth, okay? It helps you go to sleep. It just does something to your mind, body, and soul. Chamomile tea, that's all I'm gonna say. Buy chamomile tea. It helps you get great night's sleep. As a matter of fact, I think on every carton of chamomile tea, they got like either a moon, some stars, a bed, something. Something to help you know that this is going to put you to sleep. All right, number 15, sleep music. Play some sleep music on the TV. Play some sleep music in the headphones. Whatever you gotta do, play some music while you're going to sleep. Sometimes that could definitely help you have a great night's sleep because you know, again, it, it has an effect on the mind and it makes you feel calm, relaxed, especially if it's some nice, soft nature music or something like that. You know, some meditation music even works too. Just play some soft, easy going music, some R&B slow music, ladies. You know, at night, you'll feel good when you wake up in the morning. This will help you get a great night's sleep. I'm not playing. This is serious stuff that actually works. All right, number 16, a massage, a massage. Now, I don't know who gonna do it for you. I don't know who you want. You might have to turn around and do it like that. I don't know, really. I mean, I got somebody to do it for me, but um, I would assume the same thing for you because you're a real team member, like my thing like trying to make ourselves better, other people's lives better, and a better place. And those other people will turn around and start making your life better by giving you a good massage. So make sure that you find a good masseuse, you know, somebody that can give you a good massage at night before you go to sleep. I mean, they don't have to sleep with you or anything like that. No, we're not talking about that. We're just talking about a massage. You can go to the mall and get a massage. You can go to the massage machine and put 25 cents in and get a massage. I mean, it's really easy. I mean, just make sure, you know, from that hectic day you just had, because sometimes the reason why we can't get a good night's sleep is because we tight, we tense, our muscles aren't relaxed, we didn't get a chance to exercise because of the kids. And so this is very important. Make sure that you get a good massage. And if you can't massage, do some stretches before you get into bed at night, because this will help you wake up in the morning and feel good because you had a great night's sleep. Number 17. Number 17, we're almost at the end. Thank you so much for staying tuned, guys. Make sure you speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a nice comment at the very bottom. Let us know what you do in order to get a good night's nice sleep. Fluffy covers, fluffy covers, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy covers, like real f fluffy covers, like the fat covers. It's like that thick, like in width. You know what I mean? Make sure that you have really fluffy covers, like really fluffy covers. I mean, that's the thing, and a lot of people don't like to change up their bed spreads. I like to change up my bed spread like every month. I like to have a fresh bed spread with, you know, fresh sheets and comforters, brand new every single month. Because the newer, the fluffier. And the fluffier, the better you sleep. I mean, come on now, you can't sleep on hard covers and expect to stay warm and expect to feel comfortable and have a great night's sleep. Let's be real here, guy. Let's be real. Another thing that's gonna help you have a good night's sleep is make sure you have a schedule for the next day. Most of the time, the reason why we don't sleep good is because we're worried about the next day before the next day even arrives. Oh my God, we have to make a schedule. Plan out your tomorrows the night before because at least you can go to sleep, you know, knowing that you're gonna get things done, knowing exactly what it is you need to do tomorrow. You know, you just know, you know, you know, you know, you know. And that way, when you're in your sleep, you're not worried about, oh, how am I gonna pay these bills tomorrow? Oh, what are the kids gonna do? What, what, what am I gonna eat tomorrow? Have a plan, have a plan the night before, you know, so that way you can sleep well the night. This promotes a great night's sleep as well. Guys, if you have to go back and watch this video, because I know I'm talking fast, make sure you go back and watch this video over. I just want you to get all 20 tips in a fast amount of time. Thank you so much for staying tuned. But a sauna room, a sauna room, a sauna room, a sauna room. Yeah, that place that you go and sit and it's real hot and you start sweating. Most of the time when we don't have a good night's sleep is because we don't clean out our body of toxins. Make sure that you clean out your body of toxins regularly. If you know you don't do the exercise, make sure you go to a sauna room. You know what I mean? If you don't go to a sauna room, make sure you take a bath. All this stuff that I have listed ties into each other. And also, you know, going to a sauna room and coming out and going to sleep, it helps your respiratory system. It helps you be able to breathe more. Now you can actually breathe when you're sleeping rather than... <gasps> Don't worry if you snore. I grind my teeth at night. 
Guys, this was so fun. This was so fun. Such a different topic, such a different video that I'm doing. And I like to have fun sometimes. I think sometimes I'm too serious. You know, so I'm having some fun. You know, I'm just being my creative self, which I am a creator. Thank you so much for subscribing if you're a subscriber. This is what it's all about, guys. Making ourselves better so we make other people's lives better and world a better place. Hope you have a good night's sleep tonight because I'm going to go to sleep right after this. I will see y'all in the next 24 hours. I promise I won't make no more videos. <laughs> I love y'all. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next. All right. All right. Peace, y'all.